Our top focus story on the broadcast is violence on the final day of campaigning in Bhavanipur in West Bengal. BJP leader Dilip Ghosh was shoved around. He was pushed during the campaign, forcing his security detail to whip out their weapons and push away a violent mob. The BJP has alleged that these were Trinamool Congress goons. They stopped them from campaigning, a charge that the TMC has denied, instead blaming the BJP. India Today was on Ground Zero and gets you details of what actually transpired on ground in Bhavanipur. <laughs> This is what it's come down to in the Babanipur battle. A cornered Dilip Ghosh shoved and being chased away. Ghosh's security grabbed by the caller. They're then forced to pull out their guns and warn the violent mob from coming any closer. This is what panned out on the last day of campaigning at Babanipur as violence peaked again on the streets of Bengal. The BJP's grand campaign plans came to a screeching halt as alleged TMC supporters gathered at several lanes, refusing to allow BJP leaders inside. Several BJP workers were also injured, allegedly in clashes with TMC workers, as BJP claims they were blocked from campaigning in Babani Pur. पूरा हालत बहुत नाजुक है सिचुएशन डेमोक्रेटिक तरीके से चुनाव होने का महल भी नहीं है लेकिन भाजपा वार्कर आखिर दम तक ये चुनाव लड़ेगी और हम लोग जमीन नहीं छोड़ेंगे बीच रास्ता में 150 से ज्यादा गुंडा लोग घेर करके मारने लगा धक्का मुझे लगा मारते मारते धक्का देते देते शायद वो लोग पहले आकर कोई बांस से या कुछ आकर के यहाँ बैठक किया जब वो अटैक किया तो हम समझ गए तो घिर चुका लेकिन हम बैठे भागने लगे भागने लगे तो लोग बेपोंग घिस दिया फिर हम लोग गिर गए गिरने के बाद इस लकड़ी पे पटक करके ही मारा है नीचे ही मारा है The TMC, however, has refuted all allegations of unleashing violence on BJP campaigners in Babanipur, accusing the BJP instead of unleashing unrest. I congratulate the Trinamool workers to be, to be very, to maintain peace. They were really peaceful and the peace-loving citizens of Babanipur, I congratulate them. But the befitting reply will be given on 30th September. BJP get ready for it. A scary rerun of the Bengal Assembly elections. Violence, bloodshed and clashes in the run-up to the September 30th Babanipur Bipole. The scenes that played out on the last day of campaigning for the Bhavanipur Bipoles shows what a high-pitched battle it is. It is a make-or-break situation for Mamta Banerjee and the BJP is hoping for a Nandigram repeat in Bhavanipur. With camera person Sham Sundar Ghosh, Prema Rajam in Kolkata for India Today. And in Uttar Pradesh, the war for the Muslim vote is escalating. The AIMIM national president and member of parliament, Asaduddin Oasi, said condition of Muslims in Uttar Pradesh has become like a band baja party in a marriage procession. He hit out at political parties for using Muslims as a vote bank and not doing anything for their welfare. Asaduddin OAC claimed Muslims are first asked to play band baja in music and then are made to stand outside the wedding venue. He added that Muslims in Uttar Pradesh don't have a single leader despite contributing 19% to the state's population. The BJP, of course, has hit back at OAC, accusing him of misleading Muslims and cozying up to mafia dons like Bukhtar Ansari and making them icons of the Muslim community. <laughs> हमारा मुकाम एक बैंड बाजे की पार्टी की तरह हो कर रह गया कि जब इलेक्शन आता है तो हमसे कहते हैं कि बैंड बजाओ सेकुलरिज्म को बचाओ 
और आपने देखा होगा कि शादी की बारात जब निकलती है दूल्हे के घर से तो दूल्हा घोड़े पर होता है और शाम में होते बैंड बाजे वाले और जब दूल्हा उस मुकाम पर पहुंच जाता है जहां पर उसकी शादी होना है तो बैंड बाजे वालों से कहा जाता है कि तुम इस मुकाम में अंदर दाखिल नहीं हो सकते 19 परसेंट मुसलमान उत्तर प्रदेश में एक किसी को नेता बनाया आपने एंड फार्मर्स मीन वाइल कंटिन्यू टू बी ऑन द वॉर पाथ अगेंस्ट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट न्यू फार्म लॉज फार्मर यूनियन द संयुक्त Kisan Morcha called a 10-hour long band to mark the first anniversary of their protests against the three farm laws. Remember, it was this day last year, the 27th of September, when President Ramnath Kovind gave his assent to the new farm laws. Farmers carried out protests, and there were massive traffic jams, not just in Delhi or the national capital region, but in different parts of the country. And farmer union leaders even blocked. Rail lines in several areas. Our reporters get you this story. Massive traffic jams. Roads closed in Russia. National highways blocked. Train services disrupted. A nightmare for commuters. The Aam Aadmi bears the brunt of the 10-hour-long Bharat Bandh. Hundreds of vehicles stuck in a massive traffic jam on the crucial Delhi-Gurugram border. These are bad things. There is no benefit from it. The government is doing it. They are doing it. The farmers are doing it for their political benefit. Similar scenes were witnessed in Delhi Noida Delhi Flyway, just when the commuters were starting the day. If that was not enough, the protest took the wrong turn at various protest sites. In Uttar Pradesh's Noida, hundreds of agitating farmers clashed with the police, breaking barricades. In Bengaluru, a farmer leader ran his SUV over a DCP's foot. Fortunately, the DCP was unharmed. In Patna, protesters threatened bus and auto rickshaw drivers with lattes for defying the Bandh call. But agitating farmers, marking one year of three contentious farm laws, defended the 10-hour Pan-India blockade. देश में लॉकडाउन हो गया तो उस टाइम पे भी था ये तो स्कूल कहाँ खुल रहे हैं यहाँ तो शराब के ठेके तो खुलते हैं स्कूल तो बंद है बच्चों की पढ़ाई बर्बाद होगी पिछले दो साल से जनता को उस पे भी आवाज उठाने चाहिए जो लोग दफ्तर जा रहे हैं वो भी नाराज होंगे कि देखिए हमारा रास्ता बंद कर home to hundreds of protesting farmers for months was completely closed. Today, the Bharat Band has done this, that the three laws of the Bharat Band have made the guarantee for the MSP. The three laws of the Bharat Band have made the government back. In the past 10 months, whether it is cold, warm, 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 आगे की रणनीति जब इसमें कानून बनावे जब किसान की सलाह लेवे इतना अटा नहीं इतना कानून वापस नहीं ले हम भी घरों वापस नहीं जा क्या दस साल हो जाओ मैं भारत बंद वाज मोस्ट इफेक्टिव इन पंजाब एंड हरियाणा नेशनल हाईवेज स्टेट हाईवेज एंड लिंक रोड ट्रैक्स वेर चोक्ड बाय प्रोटेस्टेंट्स Farmers have blocked this highway on both the sides. Not even a single vehicle is being allowed. Those allowed include the patients and the ambulances. The farmers say that they have been demanding repeal of the three contentious farm laws from last 10 months, but the union government has not done anything. From West Bengal to Andhra Pradesh to Punjab and Haryana, 
protesting farmers sat on railway tracks, bringing train services to halt. In Jaipur, protesters, including women, took out a tractor rally. The band was, however, not that much effective in areas like Jammu. The Bharat Band call is not having any major impact here in Jammu city. You can see that traffic is going on normally on roads and business establishments are open, shops are open. So here in Jammu, life is normal and the Bharat Band call hasn't got any response here in Jammu city. One year down the line, still no end to the stalemate of the farm laws. Bureau report, India Today. And close to 50 people had a narrow escape when a building collapsed in Bengaluru. Now this dramatic collapse of a three-story building was caught on camera. Watch these images carefully. Fortunately, timely evacuation by the fire department ensured that there, were no, there was nobody inside the building when it came crashing down. So this building house 40 to 50 metro construction this building houses about 40 to 50 metro construction workers now they were evacuated in time there were no casualties that were reported and this building according to fire department officials was about 70 to 80 years old <laughs> Welcome back. New Zealand has recently pulled out of a tour to Pakistan. And there is one picture that's going viral online. This picture shows the New Zealand cricket team getting extraordinary security in Pakistan. Take a look at this image. Now, a claim was made that this is the kind of security that was provided to the New Zealand cricket team in Pakistan and yet it pulled out. Now, India Today anti-fake news war room did a fact check. And we found that this claim is false. This is an old picture. Well, that is all we have time for on this broadcast. Many thanks for watching. A quick break. News and updates continue on India Today. Stay with us.